Well, the only contribution of Kari was Chris Aquino. It's not bad, but diba? Ramos was sports, and there was the daughter, Joe, who got married to Lloyd Martino. Gloria Arroyo, wala. You know, wala. She looks like Nora Honor. Ganun lang. Ganun lang. Uh. Um, okay, um, <laughs> this is good for the soul. Um, okay, um, we'll, we'll, we'll um, make a sh little shift to your, your personal, a little bit of, of um, Queen Guard as a, as a person. Uh, where were you born and all that? Uh, like, where did you sh grow up? I was born in Manila, and uh, I grew up in Manila, but um, I studied in Manila. But I worked at an early age in different countries. I started as a model, and then I trained with this uh, William Morris. It's as simple as that. Okay. Well, I rose from... I had a hard life. I, I, you know, I struggled, too. I worked my way up. I rose from the ranks, so to speak. Um, I know the exact meaning of poverty. From your own recollection, of what would be you think was a was a turning point in your in your um, life? Was there anything dramatic that happened that really made you aware of where you were going to go? I mean, people have. Oh no, no. Since company. birth, since birth, I knew what I wanted. I wanted entertainment, all facets, fashion, movies, film, press, media, what, all, all this, the, the entire multimedia. And I got, I'm very fortunate that I was able to land a job that, you know, something I really like and I enjoy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I worked with Channel 9 uh, as a golfer, as a production assistant, that's how I started. Yeah. During martial law days. Oh, really? Yes. So, Looking back now, um, what do you think is your legacy, sort of, that, that you that you left with the? You you consider yourself retired. A legacy, but, yeah, okay. but yes, I mean that may be a big word, but really, I mean it's it's one of. Well, okay. Um, modesty aside, I have imposed discipline in all aspects in my career, and I think that's that's the, that's it. Yeah, everybody knows that in the industry. When you, my name is synonymous to discipline. To, to being a straight shooter, being uh, very honest and straightforward. That's just it. And I was fair. I never, I never took advantage of anybody, you know, put one over another. No, no. So, um, yeah, that's a very human perspective. Of, of, yeah, that's what, what our, you know. Oh, what else, you know, yeah, other than um, that? In yeah. the end, we're all... Mm -hmm. So... Because you don't talk about contribution, and that's, you know... That's daydreaming. That's you know, that's a fallacy as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So where do we go from here? Yeah. I mean, um, do you consider yourself retired? I, mean, I am retired. Okay. I am retired, and then the the Philippine Daily Inquirer and the Philippine Star uh, made a sort of a tribute release on me last December and last month, and I enjoy. I'm traveling right now a lot, and I enjoy it. good um, insight to, to Wingard Tracy. Um, a lot of people really uh, only see your name on the site. I mean, of course, you know, mm -hmm. as a manager. Um, it because it sounds so foreign. So I am a Filipino who looks Chinese with an American name. So it's really, really complex. <laughs> Tracy. Yeah. Where's the Tracy from? from? He's American. He's my foster father. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good... Um, so what we're, we're um, doing this for is, is for, for probably the future generations here. These are archival um, footage. And so what else do you want to impart to, to especially the Philippine Americans here? Um, they are far away from home. No, you don't have to be a Phil Am. You don't have to be a Pinoy. Anybody for me, you just have to stay focused. And then if you believe in your dream, you work on it. You pursue it, you will get it. That's for sure. Yeah. Being a judge for star, um, search for a star in a star million. In Indian, how do you react to being called a Filipino Simon Cowell? Well, that's true, but we are we are we are practically the same in the sense that we are. It's not a put on, okay? We're not putting it up that image and all that because, like Simon, 
I remember there was an article I was reading that the mother was saying at the age of three, you know, he, he, she saw traces of Simon being Simon. And exactly what happened to me, I'm, I've been like that since I was a kid. My father died when I was, I think, three years old. And I was six when I told my mom, why don't you get married? What they're doing here, there's no, we need a father here. I have always been a straight shooter. So I don't mind, I don't mind. Yeah. Being a retired manager, tell us what you've been doing now. Traveling, <gasps> a lot, a lot, traveling. Any business? No, no, but I co-produced a film with Unitel. Uh, it will be shown anytime this year. Uh, it's entitled Inang Yaya. Um, a star is Maricel Soriano. We were hoping it would make it to the Metro Manila Film Festival in December, but we did not. So we're just looking for a good play date. Yeah. I, I plan to continue co-producing films. Films. Yeah. Now that we know. will. That we plan to to enter in the festivals abroad. Oh, I have uh, my five assistants who inherited the company. Yes, they they own it now. They're running it. Yeah. It's still going. Going strong. Yeah. And most of the artists that you had, they're still with artists. Right, um, majority of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. majority of them. Okay. Yes. Any advice to the aspiring Asian American artists or those who want Asian uh, Filipinos want to be in the industry? Like IBU. <laughs> <laughs> no, just you know, you all you have to do is work hard, work hard, and you know, be able to 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 uh, how do you say that? To accept your fate, um, because there are times when we believe that we have it when we don't, and sometimes we don't believe ourselves when we have it. So, you know, just just pursue it. Just pursue it. Yeah. I think uh, the Filipinos sooner or later will be recognized as a race, especially in music. Yeah. Any advices for the aspiring managers? Oh, be honest, okay? Be honest, don't be a parent to them. Don't be a mother or a father to them, be a manager to them. If there's somebody who should tell the truth and nothing but the truth, to the artists, whatever it is, it's the manager, first and foremost. Yeah, you, you don't make, uh, uh, how do you say, you don't massage their ego, you don't praise them all the time, you tell them the truth, good or bad. Yeah. What do you think about the, the Filipino concert scene in America? Oh my God, it, it's, uh, it's going downhill. I don't understand, there's so many fly-by-night producers, that's number one. All these producers in every state should unite, you should be one, because one way or the other there are producers who take advantage of the artists, and there are artists and there are managers who also take advantage of the producers. So I, I don't see the point, you know. Um, the best thing now, especially with the present situation in Manila, that uh, the business is nil, you can dictate, actually. You can give them jobs, open doors for them, and they shouldn't be making you feel like uh, they're doing you a favor. No, no. Just, just... Uh, the other way around? Well, in a way, yes. At the moment, yes. Mm -hmm. At the moment, yes. So let's just be, let's, let's support each other. Let's help each other. And let's be thankful and grateful that we have each other. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.